Hi everyone, Eric from Teachers Talking Tech here. The purpose of this video is to get you started with Apple Classroom. Uh, if you have not heard our podcast about this, uh, you can check us out on Podomatic or iTunes Podcast, and we are Teachers Talking Tech. So, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to create a class. And by the way, this iPad over here is my teacher iPad. Here would be my example student iPad. So I'm going to click Create New Class, name it. I'm just going to call this one Mrs. Smith, and I am going to choose, there we go, a little theme, and hit Done. When I tap on that, it'll open that class, and of course, you can make multiple classes, uh, and that would be very helpful if you teach middle school or high school. And then I'm going to click Add Students, and when I click that, it's going to give me a unique code. Now, that code is only good for this time. So I can add students, but if I click Add Students another time, it will give me a different code each time I do that. Now on the student iPad, I'm going to click Settings. And you'll see Classroom pop up right here below Bluetooth. And then you can see it says Add Mrs. Smith. So I'm going to click there and put in the code. And then hit Add. And do you see on my iPad, my teacher iPad, it now says Eric is trying to join. Okay, and I can go ahead and click Add. And now Eric is in my class. Okay, so it shows you what app that their student is in. For example, now I click this, it changes to home screen. And you could also see more here. There's a couple features up here we'll talk about. Now that I control that student iPad, you see all your kids down here, but because I only have one, when I click the screens button, it's going to show a quick little thumbnail there. And it's pretty much real time. Like as I change one, it will show down here. Um, where it is. Then there's mute. So when I click here, it'll mute this iPad and then that student will need to turn it back up. This is really useful for uh, headphone use. So if your kids are listening to videos or anything like that, you can mute them all and get their attention. Okay. There's also lock. The lock looks like this. You click it and it locks. And then when you're done, you can click unlock. Okay, and that will uh, lock again all of your iPads. We'll get into if you only want to lock one. I'll tell you about that in one second. Navigation will allow you to open uh, your class iPads to a certain website, and then the open apps will allow you to open all of your iPads to a certain app. One note on that is if you choose to do that, uh, the iPad that your kids have need to have that app. So if I did clips, okay, it's going to open all of those uh, uh, iPads to clips. There we go. But they have to have it on the iPad to begin with. Okay. All right. Now, from here, you'll see there are groups. Right now, it's making a group called Home Screen. It automatically makes groups. So if you have a bunch of kids who are all in Safari, for example, it will automatically group those kids. But you can also click group and you can make a group called like red group okay and then you can add students to that group just by clicking on them so you could have reading groups writing groups whatever kind of groupings you wanted and it will save these so then I can say I want everybody in red group to lock or everybody in red group to navigate to this website then you can actually control one iPad at a time by clicking on that one iPad all right once I click on that one iPad, now I can view the screen, full screen, to see what they're doing. I can lock just their iPad, and all those other features would just be for their iPad. Another really great one is AirPlay. So I can click on one iPad and click AirPlay and send it through an Apple TV uh, up to your board or wherever you're projecting to. So very cool there. All right, well, those are the basics. Uh, of using Apple Classroom and getting started. This is a great management tool. And I should actually mention one more thing that I just figured out. When you want to share a photo, okay, so if I go in here to my photos and let's say I want to share this photo, when I click the airdrop symbol, it will actually, you know, show all the kids in your class under one little dot here. So when I click there, it will airdrop a file or a picture to all my class at once, which is pretty amazing as well. All right. Well, that is a quick overview of Apple Classroom. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I hope that Apple Classroom helps you to manage your classroom iPads. All right, this is Eric for Teachers Talk and Tech signing off.